Hi guys, this is how to play Jailbreak by Thin Lizzy. We need to tune down by half a step to play this in tune with the original, but I'm in standard tuning so that you guys don't have to tune down. And we also have a backing track, which is available on the website if you click the links in the description. Please subscribe if you do like this video, and let's get you straight in for the close-up. <laughs> Okay, so the first chord, nice and easy, is an E5, but if you play on to the original, you will have to tune down by half a step. So uh, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat, all the normal strings, but down um, by one fret tuning. Um, if you want to know how to do that, check out the website where I talk you through exactly how to do that. And also, I'm in standard tuning, so you don't have to tune down to do this lesson. And also we've got a backing track on the website, which is in standard tuning as well, to Jailbreak. Totally for free, no subscription or anything, it's totally for free. Check that out to be able to play along to this. Um, and the first chord is therefore done just with the first finger. It's an E5, a really easy E power chord. So uh, first finger, second fret of the E string, and just strum the thickest two strings. Have a nice bit of overdrive on your amplifier to simulate a 70s crunch sound. Um, and we have three chords for the main riff. A5, again, one finger. E5, a little bit harder, F sharp, so this is a second fret power chord. Uh, because we're at second fret, it's easier to do, obviously, the first finger on the root note, but just have your little finger on uh, the string down at fourth fret here. That makes it much easier, and to play the other trickier bits, we're just going to do them on the thin, on the thinnest string, open to second fret. So we have A5 once, mute. E5 once, mute. F sharp twice, and then um, some clicks. So we do, and then after that, three. Uh, just muted, so I've re relaxed my fingers here. That's me pressing down, uh, but I'm just really light. That's all we need. A5, E5, F sharp 5, and then three little knocks. Okay, you can do it without the little clicks in, but I just want to show you guys accurately. So A5, E5, F sharp 5. And then we have four notes, oh, five notes, sorry. Three of them are open, string, nice and easy. One, two, three, two, zero. A5, E5, two strums of F sharp. And then, and you repeat that for all of the verse, nice and slow, in, play along with me, in one, two, three, four. There's gonna be a jailbreak, somewhere in this town, see me boys, we don't like it. So we're going up and going down. With the clicks now in between, so this will be this will sound a lot more for for what it's worth. In one, two, three, four. And the general principle there is my right hand. It's pretty much just hitting this. I'm not even choosing when I strum. I'm choosing when I'm hitting the chord, or am I muting? Am I relaxing? That time, it was in this hand. All it was doing was hitting the, the, all the thickest three strings equally all the time. Okay. 
And then we have two of the chords and then a little riff. We have a B5, tonight there's gonna be, and then the E5. So that's the second fret power chord at string five, so down a string from where you were before. Tonight there's gonna be B5, B5, and then a nice little riff. A little bit more complex now, but not too much. Five on string six, four, string five, seven with a little finger, and that's an arpeggio of an A chord, and then four. Really slow now. It's fourth fret with the first finger, little finger to four on string six. Open two, and when we hit the two, power chord it if you can. Important you start on your middle finger here. And then the only other thing that kind of happens is the little breakout where we have. So we're hitting seventh fret with our middle finger, and we go six, seven, eight, nine. And then even easier, open up and three times four, five, six, seven. And every time you go to the open or the root note here, it's three of them. Using that same shape. There's a major scale bit here. It's more chromatic, really. Just hit the each fret. Just in each fret. Certainly more for the improvers, more lead guitar coming for the full tab and to see that section check out the website, it's also available in a full tab book um, that's available if you click the link that's either on the screen now over there or in the description. That's how to play Jailbreak by Thin Lizzy. Thank you guys so much for watching, please subscribe if you did enjoy this lesson. To check out more of what I offer on this channel, click either of the two videos we have here. Uh, the links are also in the description and in the top corner. I will see you in another lesson of mine, take care of yourselves, bye for now.